Bruno in Croatia writes to me, Paul, if we put a vacuum in the speaker box instead of the various damping materials, which, as we know, does not conduct sound, isn't that an ideal speaker? Okay, a vacuum can suck the diaphragm of the speaker in, but it doesn't have to be a deep vacuum, and the diaphragm can easily be brought into a state of balance with some kind of springs or a different design of the rubber around the diaphragm. What do you think about that? You know, funny that you bring that up, Bruno. I have as I daydream a lot about speakers and electronics and stuff, I have often thought how interesting it would be to put a slight vacuum or even a full vacuum into a speaker box. So let, let me explain why that might be interesting. If you take a speaker box, like look at this little weenie, uh, sorry, I have a pair of these at home, soon to be replaced with FR10s, but that's another story. These beautiful little Kef speakers, these are the LS50s. They're just gorgeous. They really did a good job on that. That's a little box. And when this driver pushes in, it is into a little box. It, there's a lot of air pressure back there. It's one of the reasons why people like open baffle speakers, because there's no air pressure. As it's moving back and forth, you don't have a box to contend with. And the box changes asymmetrically this driver. So as it's you know pushing out, it's different than as it's pushing in. On an open baffle speaker, you don't have that problem. You have a whole bunch of other problems, <laughs> but not that problem. So what if you made the air pressure inside of this thing such that it appeared to the speaker to not have a box? So as you're, as you're pushing it, you know, there isn't this buildup of air pressure because you've lowered the air pressure. There's a whole bunch of probably good reasons to think about that, and probably somebody's already done it. I've thought of it many times, but sucking the speaker in, and then you think, okay, well, you know, then I can put a little bit of electrical bias on it, push it out to even it up. So, you know, it just gets crazy complicated. And fact is, a well-designed box, crossover, and driver, it's not that big of a problem. And if it's really concerning you, I think easier than putting a vacuum inside of the box, go to an open baffle. It's a lot easier to w work around you know, the problems of open baffle, which is the, the, the back, like a dipole. The back of it is open and so it cancels out, but we've dealt with that with dipole loudspeakers for years. So that would be an easier way to go in my ever so humble <laughs> opinion. I know people laugh. Him? Humble? <laughs> All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.